Hello everyone, so in the last video we carried out the pre-processing step of the Titanic dataset. So in this video, which is going to be our second video, we are going to use uh, the logistic regression algorithm to actually train a model, the train, train the model and then perform uh, predictions. So I have already run this, this is the notebook from the last uh, video, if you remember. And this is the final data set that we had created after all the pre-processing. So let's try to now start with the training and testing. So before that you need to divide the data set into train and test and I'll first show you how it is done and then explain uh, what actually happens in the background. So we have to say from sklearn.model selection. So this is the general way of doing it. Train, test, split okay so you import train test split and then you go over here uh, we know that our uh, df is going to have the data set so we first have to break it into features and labels so x is going to be our features so we want everything from this uh, data set except our uh, whatever the thing that we need to predict which is the survived column so we are going to say we will take everything that's df and then draw which column the column that we have to predict so i'm going to say survive i'll just copy from here and then i'll paste it over here okay and then i'll say axis equal to one and in place i'm going to keep it as false why because this time in the next step i'm going to say y equal to df dot survived which means if i place in place if i say in place equal to true over here let's say if i do this then the df column will drop this permanently and this line will give an error because uh, we don't have that because of the in place equal to true so i'm not going to keep it over here which means the default value of false will be taken and we'll be able to break the entire data set into all of these things these uh, columns except the survive column is going to be in our x and only the survive column due to this line will be in our y so let's go and hit and uh, shift and enter okay so if you want i can also show you over here you can see x of head and hopefully these yes you can see all the things except survived have been uh, is there so you see all those columns that we saw over here is there except the survive and if you want to see the labels you can just print y and then you will see all the labels 0 1 0 1 0 1. okay now how to break it into train and test so i'm going to say train x test x train y test y equal to so this is how you do it train test split and you need to pass certain parameters so first is your features which is going to be capital x then is your labels which is small y then you have to pass test size which i'll explain what it means 0.2 that is 20 percent and then also a random state you can pass any random number i'm taking one two three four and i'm going to hit shift and enter so hopefully this runs and now i'm going to explain it on the uh, board how this happens okay okay so let's assume our data set was uh, this was our x okay so uh, let's say this was our X and we were having certain features over here. So we were having over here, let's say we were having parts, we were having fair, we were having, um, let's say, uh, age and there were other features as well. Okay. And in this one, we had one column for Y that we had broken. Okay. So, uh, we had one column over here and here we were having values like, uh, one, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero and all those. Okay. And here we were having certain values for all of these uh, things okay now what happens is obviously there were 800 certain okay a certain uh, there were 800 something tuples so let's number them from 1 2 3 4 5 6 and all the way to let's say 800 for simplicity i know it's a little bit uh, difficult to understand because it's new for me so how train test split uh, does the splitting is let's say you said test size so test equal to 0.2 so obviously the train will become how much train will become 0.8 okay so train will become 0.8 okay so out of these 800 80 percent 80 percent will now go to 
training part okay so training and the remaining 20% will go to testing fine now how that happens so randomly those values will be generated so all the values will be written from uh, let's say 1 2 3 4 5 up to 800 randomly out of this if i tell you that you now have to find 80% uh, of this so you will say let's say 400 uh, 21 35 and so on so on so on these entire will be 80% of 800 so that will be rough around 640 okay so you will find 80 by 100 into 800 so that will come rough around 640 okay so 640 of them now which are going to be win as i said 100 or uh, 400 this one is 400 now whichever the tuple number 400 will be there it will be taken into the train set 21 wherever that 21 is there wherever that 35 is there okay and similarly for test now what numbers are not covered in the training part will be in testing part so like let's say 1 522 uh, 699 and so on and so forth okay so these values which are not and this will be 20 percent of the entire data set okay which means randomly you will choose 80% of the uh, uh, 640 value uh, 640 tuples from here for your training and whatever is remaining that will be our testing data set so i hope this was clear and let's get back to the coding okay so now that our train and test splitting has been done what we can do is now define the model okay or you can go over here and see also this is not uh, we can say uh, let's say the head itself we'll see okay and then we can also print now this is uh, randomly obviously you can see these are random tuples uh, there is no specific order over here and if you also want to let's say the shape uh, it should come somewhere around 600 something or 700 something 712 okay so obviously there were more than 800 even though i showed for 800 there were more than 800 tuples now uh, again same thing for even train underscore y and same thing for again um, uh, just see one thing these indices match obviously okay um because let's say this uh this 100 and 125 this index is also 125 even though these were randomly generated but the ordering here is same so if it will not be like 125 here is at the top and here you'll have something like a uh, uh, 528 at the top no that ordering will be same but these numbers are randomly generated and the same thing goes for uh, the test also now let's start with our logistic regression and the way you do that is you say from sk learn dot linear models import import logistic regression okay and then you hit shift and enter okay so linear model i think not models linear model okay so it was linear model okay and the way you will define your uh, model is you will say we'll instantiate with saying lr and then you put over your linear regression okay and then hit open and close now there are different um, okay linear regression is oh sorry logistic regression my bad my bad not linear regression we are doing logistic regression so logistic regression yes now this work now we just have to write simple commands that will be copy pasted in all of the machine learning series okay and these are like the template so we have to say lr dot fit and pass in train x and train y okay so obviously this is the training data set which is 80 percent of our data set this is going to fit our model and you are going to hit shift and enter okay this model has been trained now what you want to do is you want to predict so let me just close it over here to predict it you just say lr dot predict simple loop, and then pass test because we already did the training on uh, x so now we'll pass x and here what we're going to say we are going to take the predicted outputs as preds okay now if you want to see preds now i'm not getting into the theory of logistic regression because that is something i'll be covering in another video but i just want to to show you and since this series is mostly hands-on so you know uh, you might find that video on my dis uh, on my channel as well 
so this is our predicted okay now we don't know how much accuracy there is so we need to find a way so we give uh, we trained our model on train x train y which is our training data set and we are predicting with the test data set now let's see what is the accuracy in order to get the accuracy you need to go over here and you need to say from sklearn dot metrics m e t r i c s import you are going to import accuracy score accuracy score and then hit shift and enter now this is going to give you the accuracy so how good your model has uh, basically performed and so the way you do that is you say accuracy score so this is going to give you the accuracy and then what you do you put over here the first you have to put the true uh, classes which is there in test underscore y and then you are predicted okay and then you are going to hit shift and enter so this is going to give you your accuracy which is 84.9 that's 85 percent and this is the baseline this is the baseline obviously there are multiple things that we can do to improve this particular uh, particular accuracy but this is what we are getting right now okay so um, now there are other things that we need to do i am going to show you another thing like confusion matrix so i am going to say con confusion matrix uh, confusion matrix okay and there is also confusion matrix display so we are going to even use that we are going to say confusion matrix display and i am going to hit shift and enter okay so first i am going to use the confusion matrix and i'll explain what is the confusion matrix but let me first use it so confusion and uh, matrix confusion matrix confusion matrix okay and then I have to give over here test underscore y comma press and let's see what we get. So now let me go to the slides and explain to you how this works. So the way uh, confusion matrix works is so you are basically going to have four uh, quadrants over here. Okay. So you're going to have this and over here you're going to have this. Fine. Here you're going to have the predicted. I'm going to show you what this means predicted and here what you're going to have you're going to have the real values okay so this is the positive negative here also positive and negative I'm going to show, uh, explain to you what it means okay again here positive negative positive negative so if you remember we got values like um, let's say just uh, for an example let's say 10 20 uh, let's say 30 and this is 40 okay these are just sample uh, values that you are taking what P and P means the real value was P which is positive which means this person survived and in the prediction also we predicted that this person survived which means we got a correct prediction now what this is uh, for the first quadrant what does this quadrant mean it means that the real value was uh, uh, what to say positive which means that the person actually survived the uh, disaster however our model was not doing a good job and it predicted that that person died and the, there were 20 such predictions like that there were 10 such predictions where the person actually survived and we also predicted that the model predicted that the person survived here there were 20 people who actually survived however the model felt or rather it predicted that they did not survive so you might be able to do this one which is again along the same lines the the real thing is that the person died he did not survive however our model predicted that person survived so uh, that is a wrong classification again here the model predicted since this is n the model predicted that the person oh sorry this this is n which means the in reality that person did not survive and our model also said that the person did not survive which means this thing this quadrant and this quadrant is going to give us correct predictions and this quadrant and this quadrant are going to give us uh, the values of the mistakes that our model actually did so this is how the confusion matrix works okay so we need to focus on the values of the diagonals that this should increase and we should also keep in mind that the uh, anti diagonals of these ones should decrease okay so let's get back so 102 people our model predicted oh sorry these uh, 102 people uh, in reality they survived and our model also predicted that they survived seven people 
uh, in reality they survived but our model predicted that they did not survive 20 people over here uh, in reality the these people could not survive unfortunately however our model predicted that these people survived and the 50 in both uh, reality and in prediction these people did not survive which means our accuracy is 102 so you can also do that okay 102 102 plus 50 so this was the correct prediction divided by all the predictions that's 102 plus 7 plus 20 plus 50 now if you do this you get the same value that is accuracy value 0 0.8491 0 0.8 for the same thing okay which means this is how you calculate your accuracy now you can actually display it also so you can say confusion matrix uh, you can say confusion matrix display and you can pass in the confusion matrix over here okay uh, my bad you can pass in the confusion matrix over here why can't i copy this yes i can go and copy this over here in order to display the confusion matrix you have to say confusion confusion matrix display and you have to pass this over here okay so what you're going to do is you're going to pass this confusion matrix that we have created at the same time you have to pass another uh, thing like uh, uh, display labels so you're going to say display labels okay you're going to say display labels now what are those labels you're going to give basically the lr and dot classes classes and then you're going to give underscore and you are going to say this as disp okay and then you're going to say disp uh why doesn't this close yes so you're going to say disp dot plot okay so you can hit shift and enter okay display labels dls okay you can see over here that this is our confusion matrix i have already explained why these values are there and you can see these are true levels and on uh, there's a y axis and the x axis is predicted levels so i hope you were able to understand uh, what was taught in this video the code will be available in the uh, in the on the github and the link to github will be available in the description uh, if you have any problems please write your comments and let me know what your problems are i'll try to help you so thank you very much and bye.